Okay, uh, welcome to everybody. My name is Gonzalo Tancredi. I'm the actual president of the Division F of the IAU, Plant System and Astrobiology. And we will start our business session uh, corresponding to the General Assembly that it was supposed to be held this year in person, but it was divided in two parts. The business part, it's been held virtually this year, and the more scientific part will be done next year in Busan, South Korea. So for this uh, business session, uh, our idea is to share some information among the members of the division and to present the new officers for the divisions and the new actions that we will have for the next triennium. So welcome everybody, thank you very much. I know that we are in a very broad range of uh, hour and, and day times. And uh, so thanks for those who are in early in the morning or early in the night or late in the night attending this meeting. Um, I will share my screen. I have, uh, I think I have all the presentation that was, was sent by the, the commission and working groups uh, presidents. So the idea is that I will share my screen and then you can uh, uh, talk on, on, on top of this uh, slides that I will show. So, uh, okay. Um, yeah. So this is the report for the triennium 2018-2021. I'm in Uruguay, South America. And uh, the agenda for this meeting will be the report for the division, plus report of the commissions and working groups, and uh, the introduction of the new division officers and words from the new division president, and the actions for the next triennium. Uh, the present structure of the division is the following. We, I'm the president, Maria Antonella Barucci is the vice president. Then we have the steering committee and the division uh, commission presidents uh, that are, are also members of this steering committee. The division has three commissions by itself. It's the commission F1, meteors, meteorites and interplanetary dust exoplanets and the solar system, and astrobiology. Then we also have two other commissions related to the division. One is that cross-division uh, commission with division A is the commission X2, solar system ephemeris, and the interdivision uh, commission between A and F, the A4, celestial mechanics, and dynamical uh, astronomy. And then we also have uh, working groups, sorry. Uh, one working group is the planetary system nomenclature working group. Another one is the small bodies nomenclature. Then we also have the near -earth objects and, sorry, and two interdivision, uh, well, it's jumping. Shout out. And then two interdivision uh, working groups, one about cartographic coordinates and rotational elements, and the interdivision uh, working group on magnetic activity and solar and stellar environments. Well, uh, I, uh, for the past two I produced a report uh, uh, with the help of the steering committee members and the commission presidents and work uh, commission. Um, presidents of the working groups. And I just present some numbers and information from this report. For example, uh, this is the uh, number of members that we have at the division at the moment uh, on the order of 2,600, uh, 2,400 active members and 176 junior members. There has been an increase in the number of members in the last to well, the three triennials, as you can see from the plot. And in particular, we have this almost 200 junior members that has been uh, included in the last triennial. 
and we hope that this number would increase in the future. In fact, some of these junior members could become active members in the near future. Uh, as it's uh, usual in all the general assemblies, we have, uh, have a list of the members of our, our division that has deceased in the last triennium. This is the, the list. Uh, in particular, I would like to note that uh, one past president of the IAU, two past general secretary, and a very active member, uh, I mean, the past president was Norio Kaifu, the past general secretary, Kes de Hager, and Lubos Perek, and uh, one very active member and president of, of some of the commissions related to this division, Andrea Milani, has uh, uh, regularly deceased in this uh, last year. So um, I would like just to stay a few seconds uh, in silence to remember those names and to have uh, the possibility to, to read them. Okay, so we thanks the help that has been done for all these people to the IAU and in particular to our division. Uh, in the report, we also include some other information, for example, the evolution of the number of publications according to different keywords like after comet, exoplanet, astrobiology. Uh, this information was taken from the ADS and uh, well, uh, we have some interesting cases of uh, important increase in the number of publication in the last three triennials. In particular, for example, you can note in the case of asteroid and exoplanets, the, in, in particular in the case of the exoplanet, a huge increase in the number of publication in the last triennial, meaning that these, uh, uh, as well as other fields in our uh, division are very active and uh, they are continue producing a lot of information, a lot of data and a lot of publications. So this is, I think, a, a, an interesting analysis that we could do about the, the evolution of the publications. Uh, also as a, a, a proxy, let's say, of the activity of the division, we have the number of discoveries that has been done in the last years, in particular, the number of discoveries of minor planets, the number of discoveries of NIAs, and the number of discoveries or detection of exoplanets. You can see that uh, this number has been continually increasing, uh, in particular the NIAs and the uh, exoplanet has a large increase in the last years. In addition to that, to that uh, we as planetary scientists have the fortune to have space missions, several space space mission related to the objects of our internet, like missions to Mercury, Venus, Venus, Moon, Mars, uh, two asteroids and three to be launched, one TNO, Jupiter, and the uh, some exoplanet missions. And it's interesting to note that uh, these missions correspond to six different space agencies. So we have uh, not only NASA, ESA, HATSA, the Chinese one, but also we have the Arab Emirates and India uh, act, acting in this field of space activities. Well, uh, in the last reunion, we have also awards to, the, to several division members, in particular, the Nobel Prize in Physics in the, in the year 2019 for the discovery of an exoplanet exoplanet orbiting a solar type star was awarded to two division members, Michel Mayer and Didier Queloz, and we sent a message to them. And also we have one IAU PhD prize each year in 2018 was for Tim Lichtenberg, 
from Switzerland in 2019 to Semslo Nos from Poland in 2020 to Jane Kwan from the United States. And in particular, I mentioned that in, on, sorry, on Thursdays, not on Tuesday, on Thursday, uh, during the second part of the General Assembly, we, have, we will have the presentation by Jane Wan about the ALMA view of planet formation. It was selected as one of the PhD prizes uh, presentations. And last year, we also have the at large prize. Uh, this prize is given to a candidate for any of the divisions of the IAU that belongs to uh, non OECD countries. And this year was awarded to Raisa de Lourdes Freita from, from Brazil. Uh, these PH candidates will be invited to the next General Assembly in Busan to present their results. Some division matters, uh, for example, several materials have been prepared during the last year you know, for, pur for popularization, in particular, uh, an essay about the Apollo moon, and uh, six IAU press release or announced that were related to division matters. In that sense, I think our division is one of the most active in the news of IAU. Uh, here uh, you have, for example, some of, uh, of this uh, announcement that was released by IAU related to topics of our division. Also, the division was represented at several conferences like the PDC, the Minor Planet Users Group, and the I-1 meeting. And uh, the division has discussed, has discussed, in particular, the Division Steering Committee has discussed some topics like the possible action to take in the event of a new planet, if a new planet is discovered in our solar system. And the topic is still open, and we have some words about that. And the, for example, the, the, the nomination of some dwarf planets uh, for the, during the action ideas that we will have for the next year. Uh, we, some of the members of our division has very active in the successful name ExoWars campaign. And in December 2019, the official name of 113 star and the corresponding exoplanets were announced. And uh, as I said, some members of our division were active in this. Um, the three, co three commissions will continue for the next union, the three commissions F1, F2, and F3. Then we will maintain our two functional working groups, the planetary system nomenclature and the small body nomenclatures. And uh, a, new cre a new commission has been created, is the commission F4, Asher Comets and Trinitarian Objects. And uh, the commission, uh, the sorry, the working group of NEOs, has become a functional one. So it would not be necessary to ask for a, a renewal of this uh, working group. And uh, a new also functional working group has been created. It's also a executive committee working group is the working group of exoplanetary system nomenclature. Well, uh, more information can be found in this webpage. The, division webpage and the division report that uh, includes all this information. So uh, now we will have the reports from the different division, uh, sorry, commission and working group presidents. I don't know if uh, um, Diego is yeah, available. I, yeah, I am. Uh, okay. I, I have a quick question. Uh, when you talk about the working groups, you didn't mention the meteor shower nomenclature working group. Is that this, what you meant by small bodies or? No, uh, the meteor shower, it's a commission working group. It's not a division working group. Oh, okay. So it, it should be included or, or yeah. reported in your, in your, it is. <laughs> okay. It is, your... it is. Okay. Okay. Okay, it is just they want to make, make wanted to make sure that. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I have four minutes in my understanding. Yeah. So I'm uh, the outgoing uh, president of Commission F1, which is the Meteors Meteors Interplanetary Dust. You can go to the next um, slide. Um, 
So the, this commission is uh, formed by scientists who study the smallest objects in the solar system through observations, modeling theory, laboratory studies. And it represents a very different community from those studies, comets and asteroids. And meteors, I have to say, has a, a large component also of not only professional astronomers, but amateur astronomers, because a lot of, of the observations are done uh, by an amazing group of amateur astronomers that uh, uh, like to develop uh, phenomenal uh, optical and video obs uh, observations, which tend to be to provide uh, really nice new data. So, I, as I said, I was the president, the vice president is uh, Margaret Campbell Brown, who is now, uh, after today, I imagine, becomes the next president. I have a great organizing committee um, that I want to thank for uh, having given me the honor to serve with them uh, during these three years. And then it, I just wanted to ask, so I didn't give conflicting information. We do have a working group, which is a meteor shower nomenclature uh, um, group, a working group uh, chaired by Peter Janiskens. I believe he's going to continue to be the chair. It has nine members. And this is a very important working group because with uh, the increase of observations, uh, there are a lot of reports of potentially new showers. So the list of showers have increased for uh, tremendously. And there's a lot of work to be done uh, identify if they are really showers and if they are really new showers in the case that we decide that they are showers and if they or they are uh, previously observed showers and and they are uh, reported as different events. So this is a very active uh, working group that will continue the next three years. So next slide. Uh, just uh, to show the uh, the biggest uh, events in this reunion, we we always organize every three years a meteorologist conference. Last one was it wasn't on twenty one oh nine, it was on two thousand nineteen. Sorry about that typo. Um, it was held in Bratislava, Slovakia. Uh, it was a, a very uh, nice uh, um, <clears throat> conference because it was dedicated to Professor, uh, again, an art, a typo there, sorry, of uh, Black Poruchkan, 80th birthday. He was one of the founders of our uh, division, uh, of our uh, commission. Uh, there was 129 astronomers where we presented 83 oral presentations and 53 po uh, pe posters. Another big event during the, the last triennium was that we finally, well, this, this conference provided a special issue where there were more than 40 publications. Again, I want to thank my um, uh, uh, collaborators uh, as editors in this, in this uh, um, a, a project. Uh, the next uh, conference hopefully will not be virtual, will be face-to-face -face next June in Huntsville, Alabama. This will be the second time this uh, conference is done in the US. Uh, last time was in 2010 in Colorado. Uh, we continue the support of the IAU Meteor Data Center, which is where all these meteor showers are reported. We have come out with new rules to report meteor showers. And uh, we, during the triennium, we finally got our first uh, book dedicated to meteoroids. It's called Meteor Sources of Meteors and Earth and Beyond, which was published by the Cambridge University Press. And it's a really nice compendium of papers uh, describing the, uh, the entire field, uh, observationally, theoretically, and uh, laboratory studies. I uh, think uh, there's a, one more slide. Uh, no, no. Uh, that's all. So, so there's been a really nice active uh, triennium, and I uh, little sad to to pass the 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 crown to Margaret, but also happy that uh, she's taking over. <laughs> so, thank you very much uh, to all my colleagues, and that that's about it. Okay, now we go to Commission F2, uh, Exoplanets and the Solar System, and the presentation will be done by Jack Lee Sauer. Thank you, Gonzalo. Uh, 
We are a very broad commission covering exoplanets and the solar system. And, and I think this is important to cover the two together because there are some people such as myself who have a foot in each of the communities. And I think that there are a lot of people who can benefit if they're in one community for at least being aware of the other community. Now, I have here listed the members, the officers, the members. Uh, actually, let's go back. So, yeah, so this is a current and the people in uh, red are rotating off. Rosemary is in a darker shade of red because she's she decided she does not want to become president. She and she is just going to continue her term as vice president. So we can go to the next slide, and this that will be the incoming committee. And. Uh, then let's go to the next slide. Just wanted to mention that there are several conferences that have been endorsed by this commission. And I have rescheduling information only for one of them. I suspect other meetings that were intended to be held at the, in Busan uh, this month will be rescheduled for August of 2022. Um, and I hope that uh, people will be able to gather in person in Busan. I think the current plan is for a hybrid meeting. We'll see how that goes. And uh, we won't be having some of the meetings that uh, are being held virtually this year, but the science is supposed to be covered in Busan. And uh, I look forward to seeing you, most of you, I hope, in Johannesburg in 2024, where when hopefully uh, this will be under control and will be um, back to normal, or at least the new normal, um, and being able to get together. So that's really all I have. OK. Thank you, Shaq. Then we move to commission as free, and the presentation will be done by the president, Masatoshi Ohishi. Uh, thank you, Gonzalo. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, I think you, all of you know uh, this famous uh, paint uh, by Paul Gauguin. Uh, you can see you know, small uh, messages from him on the top left corner written in French, but uh, translated into English, they will be, uh, where do we come from? What are we? Where are we going? You know, this paint was drawn more than 100 years ago. Next slide, please. Yeah, our commission shares the same very fundamental questions from scientific point of view. So we have, we aim at obtaining coherent picture of the synthesis of the basic ingredients of life in stars, planets, interstellar medium, solar systems such as Mars, Europa, Titan, and Enceladus. And uh, we aim at studying the interrelationship between the basic gradients and the early Earth. This study will, be, will lead to understanding the origin of life, it's a very far future, and the possibility of other life in the universe. Now we have 210 members as of today, a uh, number of members increased very much. Uh, three years ago, we had about uh, 170, so we are now growing. Next, please. So uh, as other uh, commission uh, president said, 
uh, we had to postpone our major activity, that is astrobiology conference. Uh, in the past 20 years, our commission, including the former body, held astrobiology conference every three years. The last one was held in Ch South, Southern Chile in uh, 2017, but that was very successful. So this conference is a very good venue to get together among astronomy, physics, chemistry, planetary science, geophysics, biology, philosophy, history of science, and others. This is because natural biology is a research of such interdisciplinary uh, areas. Uh, originally, we planned to hold our astrobiology conference last year in South Africa near Johannesburg, because there is a very attractive place, uh, so-called uh, Redford Dome. Uh, my pronunciation is very bad. But because of the uh, COVID-19, we had to postpone to uh, uh, somewhere. Maybe uh, it will be held next year, early next year, I hope. Uh, next slide, please. So this is uh, the you know venue of uh, uh, our uh, next uh, uh, astrobiology conference. Of course, uh, we do not have hold the meeting uh, inside this crater. We 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 are going to reserve a nice hotel uh, near this crater. So this will be a very attractive uh, conference. Next slide, please. So uh, uh, I'd like to uh, uh, say uh, some messages. Uh, the left part shows the uh, current organizing committee members. Uh, I am the president. Joe Nuth uh, is the uh, vice president. Sun Kwok is advisor. And we have uh, five owners and committee members. Uh, after the election, uh, uh, yeah, Joe will be, uh, of course, the president automatically, and Irv Cotin, uh, who is the current owner of the committee member, will be the new uh, vice president. And uh, pa Patricio Rojo uh, from Chile uh, will continue his uh, second term, and we will have uh, five new members, John Brucato, Misato Fukagawa, uh, Chris Impey, Zita Martins, and Motohide Tamara. So uh, I'd like to uh, utilize this opportunity to thank outgoing uh, organizing committee members, San Kwok, Maria Gago, uh, Jesus Martinez Frias, and Sergio Pilling. Thank you very much. And also I'd like to welcome new members here. So next slide, uh, slide please. Yeah, uh, our commission have one working group, education and training in astrobiology. Uh, the report will be given by the chair, uh, uh, Maria Gago, but she is not available for today. Yeah, uh, this working group had very, uh, uh, was very active and uh, it held uh, many training schools in some places. Uh, she's, she has uh, submitted uh, her uh, 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 written report to the IAU, so I would like you to re read, you know, her report. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Then the next report will be done by uh, Commission F four, Asteroid Comets and Planetarium Object. As you know, this is a new commission, and uh, the report will be done by okay. the elected president Irina Belskaya. Thank you. Uh, this is one of the three new commissions, but in fact, it's a renewed commission. Uh, the commission on physical study of comets and minor planets, which uh, uh, was active for many, many years. Uh, currently, uh, there are one, 221 pre-registered uh, members, and I hope the number will increase. Next slide, please. And we have uh, a wide geography of organizing committee members. Uh, Vice President is Ricardo Gilhatan from Argentina, also uh, commission um, organizing committee members is from Brazil, France, Republic, Korea, and USA. The next slide. 
And our planned activity, which we already discussed with uh, um, organizing committee members, it's uh, the main point are here. It's creation and management of working groups, uh, strong synergies with other relevant commissions. Um, also, uh, we uh, will continue this um, conference and, act and uh, activity and other meetings. Uh, um, we will participate in uh, focus meeting at the next year um, general assembly, which related on our topics. Uh, also, our main meeting on asteroids, comets, and meteors was postponed. Uh, to, to 2023, and uh, we planned to present uh, um, meeting for, uh, for um, topic for a symposium or focus meeting in 2024. Uh, also, uh, one of the Important point, uh, we like to focus in on problems of repositories of the latest data on small bodies, which uh, can help uh, uh, our community not to waste a lot of time. We will think about it and try to find some solutions. And of course, uh, promotion of uh, um, activity, related to small bodies. The next one, the la oh, it's the last one, yeah. yeah. And uh, if somebody would like to join the commission, uh, please send email to me or uh, our secretary. Thank you. Okay. Uh, then, we have the cross uh, the report from the cross division uh, so cross division commission x2 uh, by the president giovanni balsic uh, so please next slide thanks for giving me a chance so i will just very quickly describe the current uh, which is now past organizing committee the new commission organizing committee the most notable activities that have happened in the last triennium and speak, I will end speaking of meetings of interest uh, ahead of us. Uh, please, the next slide. The, the current organizing committee uh, is composed currently by me because the president of the commission for the triennium 2018-21 uh, uh, Bill Faulkner from the USA decided to resign in January this year for personal reasons. So I, uh, uh, I was the vice president and uh, he asked me to take over his position, which I did. And given the short time to the next uh, assembly, the IU decided that I would be both president and vice president at the same time. The, the, the members of the organizing committee are uh, the secretary Agnes Fienga, in her first uh, triennium, Steve Chesley from USA in the second triennium, obviously stay in the committee, Matt Holman, first, stay, first uh, triennium, Marco Micheli, first triennium, and Elena Pitieva from Russia. Mm -hmm. The next uh, slide, please. The next slide, please. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I, I have decided not to continue to be president because I have realized that I am perhaps too old for that role. And so the new mem new a new president and the new vice president have been elected. They are Fabrizio Bernardi from Italy and Ryan Park from the USA. Matt Olman and Marco Micheli will continue to be members of the organizing committee. Uh, please, the next one. Uh, and, and and the new the elected members are um, can, can you switch to the next slide please uh, Gonzalo yeah yeah thanks the the uh -huh. new elected members are Davide Farnoschia from USA and Dimitri Pavlov from Russia uh, you will see that there is a heavy representative from Orbit Computer and given the fact that uh, that the 
X2 commission has been uh, established by merging essentially the two old commissions, A4, which was the commission for, for ephemerides, and uh, 20, which was the classic commission for the dynamics of small bodies. Uh, this gives you an idea of, of uh, how important the orbit computations have become in, in recent years. Perhaps this should be corrected in the future uh, organizing committees by, by electing more people from the other part of the community, uh, which comes from the old A4 commission. Uh, please, the next slide. The, the, the most important uh, uh, event that, that has happened in the past triennium, in my opinion, is the transition that has recently taken place at the Minor Planet Center from the use of an old format, which actually dates back, I think, from the late uh, 60s or even before, uh, which was an 80 column format for observations to a new astrometry data exchange standard which was uh, discussed and approved by Commission 20 at the IAU General Assembly of 2015. And uh, it has taken some time to be implemented uh, because, of, of course, of the complexity of the matter. And is now allowing a much better characterization of each individual astrometric observation. And this, in turn, uh, means better orbit solution, better modeling of small body motions, more precise ephemerides ability to extend the horizon of predictability, a, a lot of consequences. I think it's really an important, uh, an important event that has taken place in the past three years. And uh, next slide, please. I finish with the meetings of interest to the Commission. The Commission, for the first time, uh, to, uh, met together at the IAU General Assembly in Vienna. There have been no major meetings specifically for this Commission, but Ma, uh, the uh, an important symposium is the IAU symposium multi-scale dynamics of space objects that was intended to take place uh, last year, but due to the COVID has been moved to next October. And it will, uh, due to the fact that the COVID uh, emergency is still uh, present in many countries, will be partly in, pre partly in presence and partly online. And uh, that's all. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Shivani. Then the next presentation will be about Commission A4. This is an interdivision commission with Division A, Celestial Mechanics and Dynamical Astronomy. And the presentation will be done by Alessandra Chile. Thank you, Gonzalo. So I will give the presentation. Then uh, uh, the next president, as it is shown in the next slide. I uh, will uh, say also a few words. So the next uh, president will be Christos Septimiopoulos and I introduce the current committee, which is uh, composed by Alexander Correa, Giovanni Federico Gronchi, who has become vice president, uh, Douglas Hamilton, and Kiro Kokube, and Marise Bo. The new commission will be presented by Christos. So as shown in the next slide, uh, the committee focuses uh, on uh, uh, the dynamics of embodied systems under gravitational interaction, interactions. Therefore, the objects of study will be natural bodies of the solar system, could be either planets, satellites, asteroids, as well as artificial satellites, extrasolar planetary systems, uh, galaxies, uh, and star clusters. It is important to remind that during the last decades, uh, there were several discoveries that contributed to changes in the procedure of uh, approach to problems of celestial mechanics. In particular, exosolar planets, Kuiper belt objects, NEOs, but also the discoveries of new low energy interplanetary trajectories, the dynamics of space debris with, uh, in, in all cases, an increased amount of observational data and computational tools that nowadays include also parallel computing and machine learning techniques. So on these topics, uh, the members of the committee organized uh, several events as shown in the next slide. And in particular, the committee has always uh, promoted the dissemination through conferences, workshops, and schools, in particular, the CELMEC meeting, which was held uh, every four years uh, since 1993. In the last triennium, members of the committee organized uh, the following uh, workshops, new trends in celestial mechanics, the, and the Stardust Star Global Virtual Workshop, 
Uh, and two schools, uh, the ISLMAC Training School in Milano and the Stardust Art Network Training School. Um, besides this, uh, let uh, as uh, said before by Giovanni Valsecchi, next slide uh, shows an important event which will take place uh, in October. The IAU Symposium 364, titled Multiscale the, uh, Time and Mass Dynamics of Space Objects, which is uh, organized by Katalin Galesh and uh, uh, myself, and uh, which will take place in uh, Yashi in a hybrid form. It covers uh, recent advances in multiscale dynamics of natural and artificial space objects under different perspectives. And we have 18 inviting speakers. 178 participants, and uh, we are going to uh, edit a book of proceedings uh, with editors uh, Christian Boger, Catherine Galesh, Ale Maitre, and uh, myself. So um, then we have also other initiatives, uh, among which, uh, as shown in the next slide, uh, several topical collections that is uh, special issues uh, that has been organized in the journal which is the Journal of Reference for the Community that is uh, Celestial Mechanics and Dynamical Astronomy. And at the moment we, we run, in this triennium, we run several uh, special issues that is uh, trans-Neptunian objects toward the moon and beyond, exoplanet dynamics, main biodynamics, dynamics of space debris, and NEO. Finally, let me say that we have also a research gate project that I run on research gate to foster information and uh, collaboration among the researchers in the field. And at the moment, the project counts 184 followers. And now I leave the, the word to Christos. Uh, thank you, Alexandra. Myself, I only wanted to send a very quick uh, greeting also on behalf of the new uh, members uh, that, uh, that are Right now we have Alessandra as advisor, of course, that, is, that was the past president. Then the vice president is Giovanni Gronchi. And we have from the previous term, Alexander Correa and the newly elected members, Romina Di Sisto, Silvia Giuliati Winter. Then we have Ireneus Vlodarczyk and finally Li Yong Tzu. Uh, well, myself, I would uh, just like to, first of all, thank Alessandra very much for the wonderful work she did as the, as the, as the outgoing president, in particular in uh, enhancing the coherence in the group of dynamical astronomers in these difficult times of the, of the pandemic in which, as you know, the, the, the mobility was very much restricted. And uh, as you know, all know, the A4 Commission addresses a topic with deep historical, I would say, but also interdisciplinary roots in astronomy altogether, which is the topic of celestial mechanics and dynamical astronomy. And uh, I, I just close with a, with a small remark that when we uh, were looking to, to enlarge the list of candidates for the new commission as much as possible, it was also the directive from the IAU, we, are, we realized that uh, while our present membership exceeds 200 members, there are still many uh, leading scientists in the world working in dynamical astronomy that are not members of the commission, but I would say they're not members of the IAU altogether. So uh, one of the efforts of our new, let's say, uh, triennial uh, administration will be to try to attract as many members as possible to the IAU and create an even more vivid community of scientists collaborating with all the remaining commissions divisions. So I thank you all and uh, greetings from Commission A4. Okay, thank you. Then we move to the report from the working groups. Uh, we have hear the report from the working group of for a small body nomenclature. And this will be made by, uh, presented by Jana Ticha. Hello. Uh, the working group for small bodies nomenclature is responsible for naming uh, of small bodies in the solar system. It means comet, 
minor planets, including near-Earth objects and trans-Neptunian objects, satellites of minor planets and dwarf planets. We are the fa functional working group uh, having uh, long time lifespan because I preceded started work in uh, 70s. Uh, our membership consists of 40 members. Uh, 11 of them are voting members and three are ex-official official members, the head of the working group for planetary system nomenclature, division president and, uh, and representative of Minor Planet Center. I think that we are a good uh, diversity as regards geography, including, uh, for example, Uruguay, New Zealand, including Japan, China, and uh, Russia. And that we have also a uh, good uh, gender diversity. The, the most important uh, news of uh, our work during Triennium is a new working group web page, but mainly a new way of uh, publications of uh, new names. The next slide, please. Next slide. Ah, yes, thanks. There is a new new web page of uh, our working group. There are also the links to the issues of uh, new way of uh, publishing new names of mainly of minor planets. And the next slide. For many years, the new names of minor planets were published by Minor Planet Center in uh, Minor Planet Circulars, but uh, during uh, mainly the last and this year, we prepared a new way, new mean of uh, publishing of newly accepted minor planet names, which uh, is uh, published as electronic publication uh, simply by our working group on behalf of the IIU. It was approved by the IIU EC it is named VG SBN built in. Up to now, five uh, issues was uh, published, and the sixth one is uh, ready. This new mean, this built in is a faster way of publishing of new names, more effective way, and also enables to prepare uh, special issues for uh, special names. So I would like to thank all my colleagues for this work. And the next slide, I... Thank you also for, for you. And uh, there is the web, web page address of uh, our new web page, including the, including the built-in, but uh, there is also a new slot for, for uh, built-in, VG, SBN by built-in at the IIU pages. So thank you. Okay, hey, uh, thank you, Jana. Just a few words uh, as president, this issue of the working group and in particular the approval of the bulletin has been one of the big uh, topics that 
uh, I have during the triennium, in particular the discussion with the MPC and the uh, executive committee to, to, to get this approved. And I thank a lot the work by Jana Keith Nolt, and in particular also to Gareth Williams, the secretary of this uh, working group that has been preparing this uh, bulletin. And uh, as I mentioned before, the approval of these names is one of the more uh, publicity aspects of the IAU. So uh, it's uh, an effort that we should continue. Okay. Uh, the next working group is the planetary system nomenclature. Uh, the chair of this working group is Rita Schulz, but I haven't seen her. So just I copy a little bit of the report uh, of the working group that has been included in the division report. And in particular, well, this working, you have here the members of this working group. You have also what is the main purpose and is the nomenclature of the planetary surface features, satellites and ring, and in particular, well, during this uh, triennium, uh, 273 new names have been assigned for objects like Mercury, Venus, the Moon, and so on, and included also some asteroids and Trans-Neptunian objects. And also, you can look into the report that uh, has been assigned topics to different objects like Europa, Vino, Yugo, uh, regarding different aspects, like for example, in the case of Venue, the uh, uh, names uh, related to birds, and the case of Rugo, names related to stories and fairy tales for children, and so on. So I just, uh, if you want to, to look in more detail, it, the working group has a very detailed report in the web page of the IEU. The next working group is the NEO working group. And uh, I just put something about that, but I see that Patrick is here. So maybe Patrick yes. wants to say a few words. Uh, hi, Gonzalo. I actually sent you a presentation ah. uh, by email <laughs> because I, I, I didn't know. Uh, actually. So do ah. you want to upload it? Uh, uh, sorry. I, it was just uh, uh, I don't get it. Uh, no, it's too big. Yeah, uh, maybe it went okay. through spam. <laughs> Sorry for that. Yeah, it's in the spam. Yeah, I am in your spam. <laughs> okay, good to know. <laughs> uh, okay, here's the. Okay, so uh, I can download it. Uh, yeah, Sorry. and then open it. Okay, here it is. Great, thank you. Yeah. Okay, so so thank you, Gonzalo. So hi, everybody. So quickly, yeah, the uh, annual working group, uh, the aim is being prepared before we need it because uh, hopefully uh, we don't have any issue during our lifetime and uh, we don't have actually any identified threat. However, as the pandemic showed us, it's better for very low probability things but with high consequences to be prepared before we need it because there are many, many aspects to consider and uh, require some, uh, some uh, steps to be ready. So the aim of the working group is basically this one is to study NEOs, the threat, and also do science because uh, uh, what, whatever the objective to study asteroids, uh, actually the, the, the return in knowledge feeds many communities like science, planetary defense, and even people looking at, uh, at, at space resources. Next slide, please. So we have a, a, a committee which uh, is uh, represented here. So this is basically the new one. The old one had many, many people, but then we found that to be effective and efficient, uh, it's better to restrict to a, a less, uh, a, a smaller number of people. And we also have a, an inter uh, division actually working group because we also have some division A people that you can see at the at the bottom starting from Steve Chesley uh, because there are of course some uh, dynamical and uh, orbital aspects uh, in NEO studies. Next slide, please. So just to give you some uh, news about the recent activities. So we have in terms of space missions, 
a, a wide range of, uh, of uh, studies now, thanks to Hayabusa 2 and the Zaris Rex, which returned samples from uh, NEOs. So Hayabusa 2 already returned them in December uh, 6, 2020, and Osiris Rex samples will uh, achieve Earth in, in October 20, uh, in, uh, in 2023. The sample was taken in October 2020. And so all, already these uh, uh, missions and, and also the Hayabusa 1 mission showed us that these bodies are really, really fascinating geological worlds uh, with many boulders in a low gravity environment. And uh, in particular, Hayabusa and Zarifra showed us that actually the, they are dominated by gravity more than cohesion. Cohesion is very small. And uh, this is something very important to take into account to make a, a deflection like with a kinetic impactor, which is actually the aim of the DART and HERA missions following uh, on these lines. DART will launch on November 24, 2021. That's the baseline and the launch window goes until 2022, February. And it will, uh, uh, before impacting uh, the small moon of the binary system Didymos, uh, it will uh, deploy the Italian Lycia cube that will observe the first instant after the impact, which is planned September 30th, 2022, and then HERA uh, by ESA will launch later to reach Didymos and fully characterize the target as a lot of that impact outcome. So the, the aim is really to, to validate or check whether uh, the kinetic impact technique is uh, uh, ready to go or whether, you know, we have big surprises and we have to, to work more. And, most probably that will be the case. And then we have later Hayabusa 2 extended because as you know, Hayabusa 2 is now flying to make a flyby in 2026 of an L-type object and then a rendezvous with a fast rotating NEO. So a few tens of meter rotating at less than 10 minutes. So that's also very interesting because these kind of bodies are actually the ones that are the most numerous in the NEO population. So we need to understand them. And unfortunately from the ground, we cannot really access all the level of detail that we need to identify the, 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 the bodies that could be risky. And then we have also China that is planning a sample return mission to a NEO quasi satellite of the earth. And again, it's a, it's a fast rotating one uh, um, and very small. Uh, maybe there is another one, I don't know. And then Korea also is proposing a rendezvous mission to Apophis. As you know, Apophis is approaching the Earth in 2029 at less than 5.6 Earth radii. And the aim is to, uh, to have uh, these, um, a mission going there uh, in order to, uh, to observe whether tidal forces are efficient to move the surface, for instance. Next slide. Other activities are more in terms of a planet of meetings, coordination and consortia, sorry for the typo. So we have a, a regular planetary defense conference meetings. The last one was in 2021, virtual. The next one hopefully will be in 2023 in Vienna at the COPUOS. We have also some sessions at the EPSC uh, uh, Congress, which is also virtual. There will be a special session, the Great Planetary Defense Quiz on October 25, 2021 in Dubai. Uh, at the International Astronomical Congress. And then we have two bodies called I-1 and SM page, and you see how it works within uh, the United Nations. So the I-1 is basically identifying the threat and communicating it to the agencies and the SM page uh, represent the space agencies that can implement a mission. And uh, together they can report to the UN in case there is a threat and what to do about it. So some thresholds are defined and uh, the aim is really to have a coordinated response to this problem. As we see for the pandemic, this is what's lacking. So we have time to prepare for asteroids and that's what we are doing. And this is where IAU uh, bodies are represented and that's very important. Next next uh, uh, thing I have there, yeah, and there is also an International Astronomical Federation and your technical committee. And then we have two European consortia that are founded by the European Commission, if you push, uh, which are basically aimed at uh, uh, studying, advancing our um, uh, in instruments for space mission related to NEOs, our modeling capabilities, and also uh, uh, analysis of data. And then there is another one in your rocks, which is uh, uh, looking at characterization of NEO from the ground and also better predicting impact probabilities. And then the next one. So as you can see, there are a lot of already uh, uh, coordinated groups that exist even at UN level. So the IAU one should not be another layer. It should actually be one that uh, accompanies these efforts and in particular inform the IAU of the annual risk. 
so that uh, if the medias are coming and they come more and more because we are able to observe more and more close passages, for instance, then uh, they have a contact point in order to, to, to answer because uh, as we see sometimes, uh, uh, and again for the pandemic, we have a various uh, interpretation, the public is lost. So it's best to be also coordinating in our way to communicate that to the public in, on, in order in particular to not generate unreasonable fears. And then also represent the IAU at different committees and promote any science among the IAU members and also encourage increasing particip participation in this important topic. And then we have also uh, um, an idea of a subgroup uh, about uh, educational and, and outreach aspects. And we will discuss that uh, with our committee members. And uh, I think that's all. If you click, yes. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, thank you. So I, I will include that in, in our report and, and share it to the division members. Uh, then we have the report from the working group on cartographic coordinates and rotational elements by Bren Archinal. Yeah, thanks, Gonzales. So, um, yeah, this is Brent. Um, I'd like to uh, certainly acknowledge the members of the working group for all their contributions and being co-authors really this presentation. Next slide um, really has a summary of the main work of the working group for those not familiar with it. It's an IU Division A and F functional working group. And uh, really the main purpose is simply stated there to promote the standardized set of mapping parameters for all bodies in the solar system. Um, we do this primarily by issuing a report about every three years, including recommendations about coordinate systems for and specific body related parameters that have been determined by others and we carefully cite them. Um, for making mapping products. And uh, an image of the report is there in the center. These are published in Celestial Mechanics and Dynamical Astronomy. Um, we plan to do another report uh, later this year or more likely early next year. Uh, we update the parameters, as I say, from published results of others from existing and new uh, mission and terrestrial data uh, sets. Um, the big changes perhaps in the next report will be updates to the uh, fundamental coordinate systems for the moon and Mars as, the, as they've been refined. Um, we currently have 16 members from five countries, but we're always looking for new members and contributions. And of course, people can contact me if they're interested. The next slide has uh, another topic we've been working on related to all this in the last couple of years. Um, this working group has been in existence for 45 years, and we're starting to look at what changes uh, may be welcome or needed for this working group, looking at the future, not just of the working group, but of planetary mapping standards and what's become called planetary uh, data spatial infrastructure. Um, so we're asking the community for input on uh, the recommendations we make and recommendations for the working group itself, including uh, whether this should be some become some other type of organization other than a working group as such as a service. Um, there's been uh, much published in the way of additional uh, information and abstracts, papers, and presentations. You can see a list of meetings uh, there where we've made presentations in the last couple of years. Uh, but then the next slide um, has the, the main uh, documents that may be of interest to our, our recent report to the IU that's, of course, on the IU website. Uh, the uh, link to the main working group report, but of course, available really from Celestial Mechanics and Dynamical Astronomy. And we've also uh, submitted a white paper to the NASA Decadal Survey on Planetary Science and Astrobiology, talking about uh, these very issues of what the working group should be doing or how it should be organized and about uh, the future of standards for planetary mapping. So uh, my address, email address is given there if there's any questions or comments. Uh, so thanks for the opportunity to make this presentation and thanks for all your attention. Okay, thank you, Brent. Uh... Okay, um, there is one missing working group because it has not been created, I mean, it has not been uh, functional yet, and is this a working group of exoplanetary system nomenclature. Uh, we are now uh, trying to get the members of this working group. Uh, this working group was approved by the last executive committee, and in fact, it has been decided to be an executive committee working group with the, present, with the presence mainly of the division F and the commission F2. And uh, we are discussing with the proposers of this working group, that is Eric Mamayek, uh, Alain, and uh, Jacques, uh, and myself, 
and we are discussing the, the, the members and if any of you wants to be a member of this working group, uh, just contact me and, and, and we will try to start working in, in the next months. Uh, now, uh, coming to the end of this meeting, first, uh, if you want to become a member of any of the commissions, and in particular the commission at four, because it's a new commission and the membership of the commission was uh, open for some time, uh, but it has to be closer before the election and now it's reopened to apply for this commission. So in that case, you, want, uh, you have to send an email to the IAU secretary, secretariat, Madeleine Smith Spaniard, this is the email and a copy to the president of the commission, in particular, Commission F4. It's uh, Irina Beleskaya, but uh, please, if you want to become a member to the commission, just send these emails. Then uh, before the end, we will uh, present the uh, new division uh, officers. Uh, the IAU has elections in last May. Uh, to, for all the divisions and commissions. I think it was maybe earlier, it was early April. Um, for the Division F, there were 620 votes, 27% of the memberships. And uh, it is worth to note that due to the limitations to the number of members of a steering committee to 12, the inclusion of a new commission in our case, Commission F4, and the fact that several members were in the first 10, we could only select one elected member and the, the division vice president. Usually uh, three or four uh, division uh, steering committee members are elected every three years. But in this case, due to this situation, we, would, uh, we were only available to select one member. So now uh, the new division president is Maria Antonella Barucci, I, and I ask her to present the new members of the steering committee and say a few words uh, as new division president. Okay, thanks Gonzalo. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon everybody. So the, the new division, the division F will have the the same members uh, as uh, Gonzalo said. The vice president uh, is Kevin Heng, and the, the, the second term members are Hans Dig, Silvio Ferrez Mello, Jan Snyder, and Dimitri Veras. And the only one new elected member is uh, Zuer Bekaldun from Morocco. So we will have also our um, advisor, past president, Gonzalo Tancredi, that will be the uh, uh, ex-office member. Uh, we have all the, the list here of the people that already you listen, and so they will be part of the um, steering committee of the Division F. So just a few words, I'd like to thank Gonzalo for the excellent work. And what we can do is uh, continue his work, of course. We are in a wonderful era with the exceptional uh, uh, new data, new mission, uh, new generation telescopes. So we, we have a lot of work. And uh, what is the objective of this division would be really the synergy with all the different groups, uh, working groups, and all the scientists and not scientists all around the world. So one of the objectives really to continue to promote all the activity. And uh, please, the next slide. Uh, so what we will continue in this, uh, the action, we will continue the, the already started action by the previous uh, division members. Um, we will support uh, the new commission F4 activity with the, all the synergy with all the other uh, commissions. And of course, uh, as already mentioned, we will continue to support the activity of the working group of small bodies uh, nomenclature and working group of exoplanet system nomenclature. 
um, we will uh, give a particular attention to the EU planet definition uh, and uh, as already mentioned we uh, we have to create a task group with the new members and this will be done very soon uh, we will support all the uh, commission related meetings uh, even if they are not EU meetings but uh, they are uh, related meeting to the different uh, commission like uh, the meteoroid for commission one astrobiology and ACM meeting uh, that are typical meeting that uh, going uh, during uh, uh, several different intervals. So we will, uh, uh, we have to remember that we have to organize the division day in the general assembly in uh, Brussels. We could not do this uh, these uh, years. And uh, so this will be, uh, I thank again uh, Gonzalo that will take care of this and I will support of course, and we have to organize the new division day in the next uh, uh, general assembly in South Africa in 2024. And uh, of course, what we have to be to to continue is all the relation between the division and all the other organization. So this work will not be done only by our commission, but with all of you. So uh, please do not hesitate to send message, comments, and be very active during the next three years. Thanks a lot to everybody. Okay, thank you, Antonella and good luck for the work for you and the new steering committee. Uh, just to, to end uh, this um, uh, meeting, uh, I list some future activities in the short run we have on Thursday this week, the second part of the 31st General Assembly, the business part. And in particular, there will be the pre-meeting with several scientific presentations in particular, this presentation by one of our PhD prizes, Jane Wuhan, and uh, the second part with some uh, resolutions to be voted. Uh, some of them are related to, for example, rotation of the Earth and, uh, and ultraviolet, ultraviolet astronomy. So uh, I invite you to attend this second part of the uh, General Assembly. And uh, in the midterm, we have the IAU General Assembly in Busan, South Korea in August next year, August from the 2nd to the 11th, uh, possibly in uh, an hybrid format. Uh, it's still to be discussed. Uh, and in particular, in the second part of the General Assembly this week, there will be a report by the president of the organizing committee of the Busan General Assembly. In this General Assembly, we have the division day on Friday and Monday. You, you remember that the General Assembly is two weeks. And we have several meetings related to the division. In particular, there will be, there will be one symposia, the symposia uh, to 374 in the second week is the astronomical hazard for life on earth and the chair of the scientific organizing committee and many of the people here are members of this uh, scientific organizing committee. Uh, it will deal with asteroids, but also with all the other astronomical hazards like the activity of the sun, uh, supernova explosions. And well, uh, I think it will be a very interesting symposium. In addition, we will have some focus meetings like the focus meeting on planetary astronomy via telescopic and microscopic approach, a focus meeting beyond the Goldilocks zone, the effect of stellar magnetic, magnetic activity on exoplanet habitab habitability, the focus meeting synergy of a small telescope and larger base for solar system and exoplanetary body research, and the focus meeting astronomy astrometries for the 21st century. And maybe some other activities that you would like to attend. So I invite uh, you to, to, to be in Busan next year and we can continue our work. Before ending this meeting, I think this was my last, yeah, well, thanks 
to all the steering committee members that has been working during this triennium and thank to all of you for the support to the division. Uh, before ending, I would like to, to do two things. One, maybe if you can uh, turn on your cameras, then we can take a picture uh, to all the, uh, with all the, the, the members of, that has been attending this meeting. And I would also like to open the floor if you have any comments, questions, suggestions in particular for the new uh, incoming uh, steering committee. So while I'm taking the, the photo for all the attendees of this meeting, uh, you can start, for example, uh, raising your hand if you want to uh, say some words or, 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 or give some suggestions. So, okay, uh, let's take a photo. Well, say cheers. <laughs> okay, another one. Okay, so has anyone want to say any words? Just a question, Gonzalo. Do you put the, the presentation on the website of Yahoo? You can send uh, yeah, my, my idea is that uh, I will uh, put this, this record of the meeting uh, on YouTube. Yeah, I have a, a YouTube channel. So, and then I will send the report, uh, all, this presentation to all the division members. And if it's possible to, to put it on the web, I also uh, will put it on the web, but uh, I will share it with all the division members. Do you know if the uh, scientific presentations from yesterday and on Thursday are, are gonna be put on YouTube or something accessible to us? Uh, I, uh, I know that they has been recorded and uh, I suppose that it will be shared with all the uh, members of the IEU. Uh, I don't know if they are planning to edit them and, and then put it on, on the web, but what I know is that they have been recorded, so they have the, <laughs> Good. the information. Um, another question for the meeting in 2022, is that, Defined definitely going to be accessible remotely, and it's the in person component that is uncertain. Or do you know anything uh, more about the planning? Well, uh, I have a report from a few weeks ago by the president of the, the uh, scientific, uh, sorry, the local organizing committee. And mm -hmm. the tentative plan is that to be a uh, hybrid meeting. Uh, something like a thousand in person, a thousand virtual, or, or well, there are several mm -hmm. plans. There will be a report tomorrow, no, sorry, on, on Thursday by, by G uh, uh, about this and also the program. The program I have here, I can share it. The information that I have is just a, a second. This is the information about the possible hybrid formats, uh, different plans, and this is the, uh, the possible uh, schedule for, for, for the program, the two weeks with a different symposia and focus meeting, and this is the list of symposia and focus meeting. So all this information, I think it will be presented on Thursday. Great, thank you. Okay. Any other comments, questions? No, no hands raised or... Okay, so if there is nothing else, then I thank you everybody for attending this meeting and hope to see you soon, hope to see you soon in one of these uh, in-person meetings or in Busan <laughs> next year. Okay. Thanks again, Gonzalo. Goodbye. Okay. Thank you, Gonzalo. Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 Bye. -bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.